Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the wall stitch. This is a 3 by one straight stitch. This is just some examples of what it looks like. And you can see at the bottom, you have three short strands and one long strand going across. I do recommend you already know how to do the brick stitch, which is the smaller version of this. It's a 2 by one but it's basically the same thing. So this is a cool stitch to learn because when you use it in combination with the twisted version, you get this really cool turnaround effect um, that you could see at all these joints. Those are all the wall stitches in there. To start this project, you're going to need three short pieces of gimp or boondoggle and one longer strand. I recommend one and a half times the length. And you're just going to take your first strand, find the center, and place the center on your index finger taking the back strand and wrapping it around the front. Doing the same thing with the next strand. Placing the center on your finger, taking the back strand and wrapping it around the front. Same with the last strand. Taking the back and wrapping it around the front. On your finger, you should have tail loop, tail loop, tail loop in the front and in the back. The same tail loop, tail loop, tail loop. Once you have that situated, you can take your longer strand and feed it under all of those loops you just made. And you're just going to want to pull this until you find the center, and that will be under your middle strand. We're taking our long strand from the right side and we're going, um, working back to front. So we're going over the tail and under the loop, and then over the tail and under the loop, feeding that all the way through. If you have any tangles, just flip it and keep that strand in the back. So you see our tails on the end are locked in. And then we're going to take the front strand on the left side, keeping this in the front, going across, over the tail and under the, <laughs> over the tail and under the loop. Over, under. Over, under and pulling it all the way through. So see how our tails on the end are locked in? I mean, we're ready to take this off our finger. So you're just gonna loosen your tension. And then keeping the strands on their side, pulling tight. And there you have your base. So to start doing this stitch, it's going to be the same as the brick. We're taking our strands from the back and we're bringing them straight across. And then we're taking our long or white strand from the left side and bringing that straight across. And it is the closest to the green one we just brought over. So we're bringing the rest of our strands going in between straight across. Taking the remaining long strand and going through those loops we just made. I'm just going to make them a little bigger so it's easier. Pull that straight through. And then you can pull tight. So we're going to take our strands from the back again and we're going straight across. Going in between over here and then you see the last one just goes straight across taking the closest white strand and we're just placing it over the top taking the other short strands and we're going straight across so you see they go in between straight and then the last one just goes straight over taking our remaining long white strand and going through all those loops we just made
and we're just going to pull tight. You see the tails are locked in by the loops. I'm just going to show you guys one last time. Taking our strands on the far side straight across. Then the closest long strand, taking that and going straight across. Placing our last short strand straight across. Once you get good at it, you can just do them all at the same time, like this. And then taking our long strand and going straight across through those loops we just made. And just pulling the project tight.